My name is uh, Eric Norell, Product Manager with AJA Video Systems. Let me welcome you to NAB 2016. Uh, we've got a lot of exciting stuff to talk about today. And we're going to start with uh, RovoCam, our new integrated HD Base T uh, UHD camera block. Um, we, started, we announced this product a couple of months ago and started shipping last month. Um, it is the only camera that you can run UHD, just one cable for control, power, video, and uh, signal all over uh, just regular category 5E or 6A cable. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a couple of slides here. Um, we're also very proud to be announcing at the show today uh, Rovo Control Mac and Windows software, which uh, interfaces directly with the camera block, allowing for full camera control. Um, here's a little preview of the UI. Uh, we will be running this over at our booth all week if you're interested in seeing it. And uh, we've got quite a bit of good stuff coming in Rovo Control. One of Rovo Control's most innovative and cool features is uh, using the EPTZ, or Electronic Pan Tilt Zoom, built into the RovoCam module. Um, what this does is the, uh, the camera is actually functioning in UHD and extracting an HD region of interest um, and allowing the user to move around within that UHD. It will also be able to set multiple presets and basically build a number of shots right within the user interface here in RovoControl. Here's a basic workflow diagram for, uh, for RovoControl. What we've got is a, uh, the camera. And as you can kind of see, I have it set up here. I've got the camera. I've got a category cable running right into my receiver. Everything is powered from the receiver unit in this instance. So I would plug that into the wall, and it would power the camera up to 100 meters away. And I could use either a hardware controller um, from Sony or a variety of other partners, or uh, RovoControl software in this case. So Rovo Control will be free and available next month. Please come check out the demo on uh, Rovo Control. We also have a large number of other new products at, uh, at NAB this week. And uh, working over in the AJA booth, we have our new USB 3.0 capture device, um, which we are calling UTAP HDMI and UTAP SDI. Um, quick and simple way to get video signals into your computer for a variety of encoders and different applications that require video. It could be GoToMeeting, Skype, FaceTime, um, TeamViewer, or uh, any number of other applications that use uh, what is called UVC and UAC universal audio and video class USB drivers. All right, so there would be a picture of the new UTAP HDMI and SDI units. Um, you've got a USB 3.0 on one side. You plug that into your host machine, plug your video into the other side, and you are good to go. Um, the SDI unit also offers an, a 3G SDI loop out for uh, broadcasters to keep your signals extending. Here's a brief uh, sample diagram of uh, what you could do with the UTAP. And as you can see, you can plug a variety of video devices, whether it's a deck, a switcher, a camera, directly into your computer. And uh, Linux, Mac, and Windows will support this without any drivers, bus powered, very nice little device. Please come, out, come and check out our UTAP. Next would be Hilo. This is a new H.264 streaming and recording appliance um, from AJA. It is designed to both have uh, easy to use field streaming and record. Uh, it can do up to two channels of 1080p 60 um, at the same time at up to 20 megabits. It uh, is designed to be preset for standalone operation. There's a stream and record button right on the front of the unit, so you can preset that, send it out into the field, and have someone um, on the production just hit stream and record and uh, get your video delivery up and running. It's uh, like many of the AJA network-based products. It's got a simple UI and a nice web server built in for configuration. It also has a uh, USB on the front for uh, configuring your network settings. Um, and getting up and running very quickly. It's got a USB uh, on the front for storage, and it's also got an SD card slot for, sto for storage. Um, Hilo also has the ability to mount network shares and record directly to various network accessible drives on your LAN. In terms of connectivity, we've got stereo in and out. This will allow you to, to embed two channels of analog audio into your web stream. Um, and we also have 3G SDI and HDMI inputs and outputs, allowing you to monitor your uh, signals, um, convert, 
capture, stream, all in one nice little box here. Another nice thing about this box is it does run on the infamous AJA DWP power supply, um, but it will allow you to use with our PTAP cable um, power this thing off of a battery in the field. Um, in terms of uh, all the new stuff we have for NAB, this is a very small subset of it. Um, we talked a little bit about UTAP, HDMI, USB 3.0 capture. We've talked a little bit about Hilo, which would be our H.264 streaming and capture um, device. We've talked a little bit about RovoControl, the new complementary software for RovoCam and RovoRx. And we have talked a little bit about how some of these applications and pieces of hardware are used in production. Um, we have a ton more at the show, and I'll cover that very quickly, but uh, we've got new Scion firmware, new Keypro Ultra firmware, Packadac uh, eSATA, allowing uh, SATA drives to connect to Keypro Quad, Scion, and Keypro Ultra. We've got uh, a new FS4 four-channel frame sync in 1RU. We've got a new Hi5 4K Plus for US, uh, or, uh, HDMI 2.0 to uh, SDI conversion. We've got uh, Kona IP, which is definitely something everyone should check out if you're looking for uh, um, IP type workflows. And uh, we've added a lot of little uh, converters and improvements to the entire product line. So I would encourage you guys to come check out the AGA booth in uh, SL2505. And uh, we'll be talking a little bit more about RovoCam here. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to, uh, to jam the camera up onto this screen and show the software in operation here in just a second. Thank you. All right, so what we're showing here is uh, zooming slowly. We have RovoCam set to 20p, uh, 720p 59.94, and I'm using my RovoCam control software um, via this COM interface USB adapter that comes with RovoCam, allowing me to do a nice clean zoom. Uh, you, we do have variable speed zoom um, in and out, and actually uh, RovoCam is what is I could describe as a 12x optical zoom. It does something that Sony is very proud of, called super resolution zoom, which extends that to 20. And then there is a full digital zoom, which will allow uh, surveillance and security type customers to, to zoom into 144x. Um, I would say most broadcasters are going to be pretty happy with the 12x zoom in this uh, very compact camera unit here. Um, you also have the ability to step through your full manual aperture controls in uh, multiple shutter speed options. Um, and we've got the ability to vary the zoom in a lot of different ways. And uh, the nice thing about this camera also is it has uh, automatic everything mode. So if you just want autofocus, auto, focus, auto uh, iris, all of that's built in. And uh, everything is controlled via Sony's Visca protocol over RS-232. Um, we have a couple very cool demos of this over in our booth, one software and one integrated with a uh, pan and tilt head, allowing you to drive the entire unit in UHD over one uh, Sony IP controller, which is pretty nice. So that would be Rovo Control, and uh, it will be free to accompany um, the Rovo Cam and uh, our Rovo RX HDMI receiver unit. So that would be uh, more or less everything I've got for uh, Rovo Control and Rovo Cam, and I would encourage everyone to come check it out over at the AJA booth, and uh, thank you for your time. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.